If you are watching this video, then congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the Lahoma Windhawk inflatable wing foil board. Over the next couple of minutes, I'd like to show you a few operational considerations with this inflatable board. If you have questions about how to actually progress with your wing foiling, just click on the link above in the corner and browse through the Winging It playlist. The Windhawk comes in multiple sizes and volumes. Your version, it's printed on the bottom side of the board. Also on the bottom of the board is the carbon plate with its hydrofoil track system. This plate is large enough to add rigidity throughout your stance for decreased flex in the board when you're pumping it on foil. You will need to mount your hydrofoil into the track system in a position that is tuned so that equal weight is distributed between your lead and trail leg when on foil. Now this may take a few sessions to tune exactly where this placement should be on the track with your hydrofoil setup. But using standard T-nuts and M8 screws will work with most hydrofoil setups. Some systems will require M6 screws. To inflate your board, first unscrew the valve cover and push down directly and clockwise onto the valve, making sure that it's in the extended position. From this point, use the SUP adapter provided with your hand pump by placing it over the valve and turning it clockwise until you feel it locked in. Now you can start pumping up your board using the dual action setting on the hand pump. The goal PSI setting, it's 15 to 18 PSI at completion. When reaching higher levels around 12 PSI, just flip the hand pump over to the high PSI setting, which changes it to a single action inflating. Continue until reaching the preferred pressure. Now go to the pump adapter and turn it counterclockwise, then lift the adapter will release off of the valve and air will stay in the inflatable board. Now just screw the valve cover back and you are ready to use the Windhawk on the water. To release air from the board, again, unscrew the valve cover and depress the valve, turning counterclockwise slightly, which will expel out all the air of the board. There's really nothing more to it than that. Attach the provided ankle leash to the back D-ring on the board and this will provide security for your board on the water and not allow it to become permanently separated from you during a crash. The Windhawk also comes with a wheeled travel bag. You can use it also to keep the board protected from the elements for local transport or for airline use. One of the great advantages of an inflatable wing foil board is ease of travel. There are a few points to consider with the Windhawk inflatable wing foil board. Do not leave the board exposed in extreme heat and sun when not in use. These boards, not much different than many other wind sport items, do not respond well to prolonged abuse out in the elements. The Windhawk has a double layered PVC which does increase its durability, but not to the point that you don't still have to be cognizant of not dragging the board and being aware of items that can scrape and puncture its integrity. So that's the overview of the Lahoma Windhawk inflatable wing foil board. Now, get out there and enjoy your wing foiling adventures. Also, take a look at some of the Lahoma Winds lineup, such as the Dreamcatcher hand wing and other items.